Hi, and welcome to BrickTech. If you're watching this video, you most probably know something about Streamlabs chatbot already. But what you may not know is that you can run this software for Twitch, Mixer, and YouTube at the same time. So, on top of that, I'm going to show you how to avoid going through adding comments and sound files uh, to two additional ones that we will create today because we all know how much time this takes. So if you go into your uh, connections and streaming services, you can create all three shortcuts or the ones that you require for the setup. Uh, in this case, it's going to be Mixer and YouTube. And you have to launch YouTube and Mixer from these two shortcuts in order for the settings folder to be created in a services folder in your Streamlabs chatbot, which is located in whichever drive you have it, you have installed. Uh, it's going to be in your users, uh, your name or name, name of your PC, update a roaming, Streamlabs, Streamlabs chatbot services. And now, because I had Twitch already set up a long time ago, and only recently I decided to stream to multiple platforms. Uh, when you, you have to launch this, this, and two additional folders will be created here. So now while this uh, is launching, well, actually, we're going to wait a second for the first one to start up. So you can see, obviously, as the settings folders have been created for these two uh, there is absolutely nothing set up. And uh, if you will be running stream to multiple platforms, if you set up one, and if you have to spend the same amount of time to set up the other one, just waste of time. So uh, all what you need to do is go to your current setup, copy everything you have in there, paste and replace into Mixer folder, in my case, and the same in a YouTube folder. So all your files, logs, and settings, and databases will go into these two additional ones. So now we just need to close them, launch them again. See, so now in the future, if you uh, get more sound files or you add more comments and you add, add them to this one, you don't have to go through the same process uh, adding them to this one. Well, if you're adding only one, yeah, it doesn't take that much time. But if you have like as many, then to go through that here and here would take you forever and a bit. You would probably lose one day to play with this. So now you can see everything uh, is already here. You have sound files added and you have all the comments. Basically, every single setting, uh, every single one of them is copied to your new setups. The only thing you have to do is connect to your streamer and bot account and the same here. That's it. I hope that was very easy. Well, the only thing you might change in the other ones is. Uh, those uh, shortcuts for the yeah macros you can just change the macros because you don't need 21 macros and you don't need three of one type so that gives you additional additional room to play with the macros and of course if you have any um any hotkeys set up in your uh old setup you you may want to remove them unless you want them uh, all free softwares to respond to one to one hotkey. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope it did help you in the future. And well, it did help you and it will help you in the future. Uh, if you have any suggestions, please leave them in the comments because that was my first ever um, creation or tutorial. And if you have any suggestions, what to change, what to make it better, uh, please leave it in a comment. Uh, hit like, hit subscribe. There will be more, hopefully. Mm, I'm hoping they're going to be better than this one.
And until next time, take care now. Bye-bye then. Thank you.